you, you kind of mentioned that sometimes it feels like throwing money into a black hole. Some business owners perceive SEO as kind of a black magic. How do you address the ambiguity and mystery that surrounds SEO? Yeah, SEO or search engine optimization, um, it, it does sound like black magic to some people because there's so many factors that affect it and it's something that changes frequently. So uh, because of that, it's really hard to stay on top of it unless you're in the business of staying on top of it. But um, search engine optimization, of course, is trying to get search engines to find your website and doing the things that will make your website more searchable, more findable. And um, there's low-cost things that can be done and should be done first, um, especially for a business whose main market is local. There's some very uh, relatively inexpensive ways to gain uh, exposure locally. Um, but a thing that's often overlooked by a lot of marketers these days is the power of what I call a keyword-driven blogging strategy. So in other words, we, we look at your business, we look at your competitors, we study their websites of the, the most successful competitors, we determine what keywords they're optimizing for. In other words, which search strings are they optimizing for in, within the design of their website. So we study that and then we do research on the, uh, the various versions or alterations of those keywords and see which uh, phrases get the highest number of monthly searches and then uh, our approach is to take that knowledge and design the website around those keyword phrases and uh, if you do it that way and you design your blogging strategy around these keyword phrases you save a lot of money because um, you're not designing a website and then coming back later and doing the search engine optimization on a design that's already completed Instead of that, you're designing it with the search engine optimization in mind. So if you do it right with a solid keyword-driven strategy, it saves a lot of money. And uh, again, it's, it's really important that the uh, business owner kind of understands how it all fits together, understands the plan and, and how it works. That takes a lot of the mystery and a lot of the fear and uncertainty out of the whole process. So does that end up being a training project for you? Or, or so if, if you're doing SEO for somebody are you teaching them how to do it for themselves or you're doing it all for them or a hybrid or what's that look like? It, it is it is a hybrid I mean the ultimate goal is to train the customer how to fish and do a lot of their SEO work themselves I won't say all of it now if they have a, a very capable technical staff who can learn that then they could eventually do all of it but they certainly can do most of it in the long run. Uh, that, that usually takes uh, several months. Um, so during a several month period typically you know I would start uh, doing the lion's share of it but all along the way training the customer, training the customer in understanding keywords, training the customer in how to write for their blog and on their website uh, with the content with the right amount of keyword mix in there and um, how long the article should be, how many words should be on the pages uh, and, and a host of other things that all affect uh, their, their search engine optimization. And if they want help with that content generation on an ongoing basis for blogging or social media updates, that kind of thing, you can help with that? Certainly, yeah, we are uh, more than happy to help with that. Um, we can do anything from coaching the in-house staff and letting them basically do all the writing or uh, really a better approach usually, especially in the beginning, is to uh, train the staff on how to do the writing and then we'll edit it, we'll tweak it, and we'll um, explain as we go what we did. And, um, you know, there's no way I can impart all my knowledge typically to somebody, but we can, we can certainly give them a, a big chunk of it that'll save them a lot of time.